Okay, so we're going to talk about the kind of kit that you'll typically need for, for your first bike packing trip, sort of assuming that you're going to go away for, for two, three days and going to be camping out overnight as well. So everything that you will need is already stacked on here and we'll just run you through what's in each of the bags. First of all, sleeping bag and usually tend to put that in the bar bag actually. It's one thing that I tend to think is worth investing a bit of money in is decent two season sleeping bag and you can then bolster that with a down jacket or something during the winter um, and when the weather's a bit colder and the thing that we're going to put in the bar bag is this is an all-in-one jet boil style stove and there's gas in there and everything else too. Stove's one of the things I always find a little bit awkward to, to pack um, but it is also really nice having a hot cup of coffee in the morning. Top tube bag, again, perfect for, for food or things like electrical items, your battery bank, charger, really, really good for, for that kind of stuff. So there's obviously quite a few things that you can carry in the frame bag, um, but one of the things that I find it really useful for is kind of carrying the sort of spares that you'd normally take with you on a ride anyway. So things like a quality multi-tool, puncher repair kit, spare tube. Um, I'll quite often bundle those up into the, the restrap tool roll and just store it within the frame bag. Um, it's normally worth bringing just a little bit more than you would do for a day ride, just bearing in mind that you're potentially going to be further away from civilization and you're going to have to basically look after yourself and fix things for yourself. So things like quick links, even spare spokes if you're going on a longer trip. Um, saddle bag. First thing that we've got to go in is the, the tent. You may not necessarily want to bring a tent with you. Bivy bag is often absolutely fine. Uh, if the weather's forecast is not looking so good, then actually psychologically it's really nice having a, a tent to, to shelter in rather than just the bivy bag. Sleeping mat. <clears throat> we've got a little wash kit which is literally just toothpaste and toothbrush and a little towel. Shorts and t-shirt, it's winter at the moment, probably want some more spare clothes than that for the evening, but at the very least you do want something just to, to change into so you can get out of sweaty lycra and everything else at the end of the day. Um, it's really good to, to have that. Um, I personally would probably just whack in a down jacket or something as well, regardless of the time of year. It's good just having that extra layer of insulation. One of the things that I do is I'll quite often pack my down jacket in a little dry bag within the, uh, the saddle bag just to keep it separated out and, and guarantee that it's going to be dry when I, uh, I get to my location. Other stuff like flip-flops, if you're bringing those, then actually they can maybe get strapped to the outside of the bag rather than packed inside. Um, makes it just a little bit more room for, for, for the important things to, to go inside the bag. There's basically no hard and fast rules as to how you should pack the saddle bag or the, the bar bag really. Um, it's all about just getting the stuff that you need to, to pack in the best possible place. So I try it a few different times, try some different setups and work out what, what works best for you. What you can see is there's actually still quite a bit of spare space there as well. Um, it's the kind of thing that you probably want to bring some spare riding kit too, so stuff like waterproof jacket and assuming the kind of worst possible weather is, is always worth doing, regardless of, of what it's like when you set off. Okay, so that's, that's the kind of kit that you can take, um, easy to fit onto the bike. If you're doing a longer trip, you may want to take some more. If you're doing a trip where you're staying in B&Bs and hostels, then obviously you can potentially get away with, with taking a little bit less as well. I think one of my rules of thumb is, is always just remembering that anything that's kind of brings a bit of extra comfort in the evening, you've still actually got to carry. And the heavier the bike, then the less fun the riding is while you're doing that as well. So I think it's always worth just sort of really bearing in mind and trying to keep things down to a minimum wherever you can be. So I think that's just about it. But if you want to go and have a look on the Restrap YouTube channel, then we've got some other suggestions for, for other kit that you might want to take for longer trips. If you may be going touring with panniers and, uh, and the best setup for the bike in those instances as well.